Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're here for another Owl Crate unboxing. I am so excited to get into this one. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've totally peeked at spoilers for this. Mainly because I just want to see the cover change. I haven't looked at any of the items yet, but I just really want to see what they did with the cover. Full disclosure, it's beautiful. Okay, let's move on to actually opening this. This is March's, no, April. What month are we in? April. This is April's something themed box. I am the best booktuber you guys have ever seen, correct? Correct. Okay, let me just cut it open. I can see the spoiler card, let you know the actual theme, and we will proceed from there. Okie dokie. Ooh. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. And the theme is Shadows and Secrets. That's what it is. Shadows and Secrets. So this is what this month's card looks like. Looks pretty good. Gonna set it aside to avoid spoilers. And we are somewhat squiggly free this time. Like there's still some, but there's not as much. So disappointment from a cat, happiness from a vacuum cleaner. So the first thing that I am seeing, oh, I'm excited for how big this is. That's what she said. Okay, I'm gonna put the box down and start discussing some items. The first thing that I'm pulling out, oh my God, that sounds good, is coffee. So this is from Bones Coffee Company, which I knew they were working with. I think that was their spoiler thing for this month, like their release of like what vendor they're working with. Um, I believe we've gotten stuff from them before. I think they did the Dark Arts Roast, which was delish. And I'm pretty excited because I saw their, one of their live stream videos where they were just kind of discussing things in general, they said they were gonna send like a bigger package so you can actually get a legitimate like amount of coffee instead of just like a little taste, like a little sampler. So we have like a fairly hefty size thing. That's gonna make like a couple pots of coffee. So I'm excited about this. It has a coupon code, but anyway, back to the actual coffee. This is deadly dark chocolate and sea salt coffee. That sounds amazing. Imagine if you had like caramel creamer Oh man, I'm getting excited just thinking about this. But like dark chocolate sea salt coffee with caramel creamer in it, just like brownies melting in your mouth. So that's what this is. I'm gonna move on before I start like over salivating on video because that would be unattractive. The next thing that I'm pulling out are these adorable pencils. This is an Owl Crate exclusive design um, from Jubilee Design Studio and there's a coupon code, but they are just a little, little set of pencils, which I appreciate. I'm one of the few people left in the world. I really like writing with pencils. I don't know, something about the like scratchiness, I just enjoy it. But let me show you what they say, cause they're adorable. There we go, can we see those? They're little Harry Potter ones, it says, property of the Half-Blood Prince, mischief managed, and I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Oh, they're so stinking cute. Will I actually sharpen these and use them? I don't know, because I don't think I own a pencil sharpener anymore. I like an eyeliner sharpener that would probably work right i'm just cringing thinking about all the like graphite mixing with my eyeliner maybe that'd be cool who knows but i am definitely going to use these for bookstagram pictures and they're going to go in my little mug with a whole bunch of bookmarks it's adorable win-win the next thing i'm seeing is this month's pin so it's just the little like whoo, hand symbol thing from their card so this is going to go right on my little tote bag next thing i'm seeing is a little like vinyl decal sticker type thing, what have you, and it looks like this. It says, everyone has darkness inside them, however hidden, which I believe is from the Young Elites, correct me if I'm wrong, but that is so stinking cute. The next thing is this little tiny adorable box, which just looks so cute. This looks like something, I'm gonna totally nerd out right now, this looks like something you would buy at the Ren Fair. I'm a huge Renaissance Fair fan, just avid goer, costumer, just enjoy the entire Ren Fair environment. This looks like something that would be sold at one of the vendor booths there. So this is a little box, let me show you. So it looks like that, isn't that cute? Doesn't that just look like something you would just pick up at like a little vendor table and it slides out like so. Okay, this is not going well, there we go. There's my face again. So this is soap and it's the Wild Berry Shadow Hunter, Three Sisters Apothecary. Um, so this is just a little soap and it's tart and crisp berries are artfully blended to nurture and support skin health naturally. That's lovely. Ooh, it smells good. It smells like candy. Like it smells like candy. You know, the like Welch's fruit snacks, the little berry gummies. That's what this smells like. Ooh, I like that. Will I ever use this? I don't know because I'm one of those people. I feel guilty using things that I really enjoy getting. So like this will probably just sit on the edge of like my bathtub forever. I use this the day that I run out of soap and I forgot to buy more and I'm like, oh no, I'm already in the shower. What do I do? 
soap. Oh, okay. The next thing in there, I heard them talking about this and I forgot what month they said. I have hair stuck to my nose. I forgot what month they said they were doing this, but this, this is the next item and I already know what this is. So let me take it out and show you guys. So I was watching, like I said, I was watching one of their like live stream videos that they do on like Facebook and Instagram and stuff. And they mentioned they were gonna do another full size pillowcase that matches the one that we got previously. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Here's what it looks like. Just, oh, look at it. So this says, what does it even say? It says, when you can't beat the odds, change the game, which is a Six of Crows quote, and I get it now. I just read Six of Crows in Cricket Kingdom. I'm a little late to the party, but I'm here. So this is what it looks like, and I love that they actually planned this out so that this matches the pillowcase that they sent out previously, because that was my actual issue with it, is that I obviously, I live with my fiance, so we have a queen size bed, so it looks kind of weird having one pillowcase not matching. So they sent a matching one, so I have a full set. And this is how they look together. Oh, my dog came to join me. <gasps> Woo, go, go. I may have made my bed only to get this footage, but they look wonderful together. Those were the pillowcases. They look awesome together. I am so excited that I have like a matching set now. Oh, it's just so great. I love it. The next thing in there is a little sampler of Legendary by Stephanie Garber. This is a sequel to Carval, which they did in a previous Owl Crate back when Caraval came out last year. This is like a three chapter, three, four, three chapter sampler of Legendary. I have mixed feelings about Legendary because I did not love Caraval. Like I was kind of on that side of the people. It was a pretty polarizing book and people either loved it or they really disliked it. I just really didn't care for Scarlet as the protagonist. She was just really annoying to read from. So I'm planning on possibly reading this. I don't know if I'll actually buy it, but I mainly am intrigued just because it's following her sister. So I'm really excited to see somebody else's voice telling this world and this story. But from what I've heard, everyone who liked Carvel liked this one even more and people who didn't like Carvel still liked this one more. So I have high hopes. Maybe I'll read this little sampler and find out if it's something that I will end up purchasing. Ooh, look at it, it looks so beautiful in person. So yeah, I totally saw this cover already because it's amazing. So I'm onto the book, obviously, and this is what it looks like. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic and show it to you guys and show you the stuff that came with it. It came with the little handwritten note, which is actually really cute. I really like how they did this. I like seeing different authors' handwriting, so this one's pretty adorable. And then it looks like it came with a little swaggy type thing. Like there's a map on the back, and if you open it, oh, it's just like little card type things. That's pretty nifty. So it has like some swaggy type things in there. That's cool. And here is Ace of Shades by Amanda Foody. I think I like this cover more than the original one. The original one is red, and I think it has black font. I really like how like smoky and dark this cover is though. And it's tall. I actually wasn't expecting it to be a tall book. I thought it was gonna be one of the like standard books. But I recently just talked about this in my releases video, so I will leave that linked down below if you would like the summary. But it just sounds like a really good, ooh, signature. There it is, it's signed. Um, it sounds like a really good like Las Vegas gambling dark fantasy world type thing, which I'm down for. I have a buddy read coming up for this in I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm reading this the first week of May. So I will actually have a review of this coming up soon or at least feature this in one of my reading vlogs. So you guys will hear my thoughts on it as I'm reading it. And then in the bottom of the box, we have the little catalog magazine type thing that they started putting together. Oh yeah, okay. So there are the two covers side by side. I actually like this one more. I just like how dark it is and I like the darker lettering. So this is what we got. This is what the actual version is. And then the spoiler card for next month. Um, the May theme is Fight Like a Girl. Ooh, I like this design. It's actually pretty cool. I, mainly be, I like the back one. The back one's cool. So their vendor reveal is an exclusive bath bomb from Whipped Up Wonderful. Oh, I love me some bath bombs. I'm a big fan of baths and making them all colorful and busy. So that is next month's theme is fight like a girl. And that is everything that came in this month's box. I will leave my referral code down below. I am a one person away from receiving a free box and I can't handle how exciting that is. Like the anticipation is killing me. So if you guys are interested in ordering Owl Crate, use my link down below and help a girl out. Cause that would be just 
splendid. I would love you forever. That would be so cool. It's been a long time since people have used my referral code, but it's down there. I will leave it first thing in the description if you so desire to click on it that would be much appreciated. So that is everything that came in the April Shadows and Secrets box. I like this box because they're getting really good at fitting the color theme. Like I really like the red and black color theme going on here. That was like my barn colors, that was my school colors through all of like my education, like middle school, high school, college. All of my schools were red and black for some reason. It's a pretty badass color combination, but I like how it flows. Oh, I don't have the pillowcase in here. That's what's missing. Also red and black though. So that is going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this unboxing and I'll see you guys next time.